Hello and welcome to Marathon Recon, a mile by mile preview of the 2018 LA Marathon. I'm Martise Moore, the Run Faster Coach, and today we're running the final 1.2 miles of the LA Marathon. And I have with me today Eileen. Eileen is running for the Celiac Disease Foundation, so we're going to find out all about that. This is going to be her first time running the LA Marathon. So let's get started. All right, Woo! Here we go. We're on the last leg of the marathon. This is exciting because it's already downhill. It is. So you've already run 25 miles and now we're headed to the 26.2. So, Eileen. Yes. Why did you sign up to run this race? It's always my alter self that signs up for these things. Uh, no, I really wanted to represent the Celiac Disease Foundation. Uh -huh. They actually approached me and they said, hey, uh -huh. so you run a bit, don't you? <laughs> I said, only when I have to. <laughs> the bears are chasing me. No, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, so they said, you know, we've got a charity spot in the LA Marathon. Mm -hmm. And they said, would you like to run it? And the, the nice option was they said I didn't have to run the full marathon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you're doing the charity challenge. Yes, correct. Okay. I'm doing the charity challenge. And what part of the marathon are you doing? It's the second half. Okay, so, so you're going to be running this, this part. Yes. Yeah, so, so welcome. Because <laughs> you've never run it before, so you're not no. totally familiar with the course. Right. Well, this is going to be the best part. <laughs> well, you know, when it said that it ended at the beach, uh -huh. I was hooked. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, all right, you sold me there. Right, so we're headed towards the ocean right now so you'll notice that this part is going to get cooler and cooler yes and louder and louder because it's going to be all these people ready for <laughs> you so tell us about the celiac disease foundation like what is celiac so celiac disease is an autoimmune disease mm -hmm. where the the big culprit is wheat okay so people who have celiac cannot ingest wheat, mm -hmm. and nor that can they have it um, applied topically. And here's the stinker. We didn't know until the family was diagnosed mm -hmm. that tons of lotions, shampoos, uh -huh. conditioners, makeup, wow, they all have wheat wow. or some form of it. Yes. So it was really tough because with, with my daughter, mm -hmm. When she was born, mm -hmm. we just thought she had terrible eczema. Oh, okay. And she had, you know, horrible skin. Mm -hmm. So she went on topical steroids. Right. She went on oral steroids. Mm -hmm. Nothing helped. Mm -hmm. And then we kept putting all these creams and lotions on her, mm -hmm. not knowing that, you know, it was celiac mm -hmm. and not knowing that it was wheat. And so we were making it worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was why she had such bad skin was, you know, she was getting wheat and then we were putting wheat on top of her. Right. So as soon as you cut wheat out of your diet, uh -huh. the body typically not, and so unfortunately not everybody um, responds to the no wheat diet. Okay. Um, but your child but my does. kids, yeah, my kids. So you have more family. than one kid that has. I do. So it's actually, it's my husband, uh -huh. our oldest, and then our youngest. Wow. So is it like genetic? It is. It's genetic. It's hereditary and it's recessive. Hmm. So my husband was diagnosed first mm -hmm. and then um, when his GI doctor said, hey, you have full-blown celiac, uh -huh. um, do you have kids? Mm -hmm. He said, I do, I have three. And he said, all right. He goes, well, what we'll do first before testing the kids, making them go through the, you know, the whole medical thing mm -hmm. is let's test your wife uh -huh. because it is homozygous recessive, so your wife has to have it uh -huh. or carry it in order to give it to the kids. Not, uh -huh. So he was like, oh, perfect. He goes, because she doesn't care what you do. You can poke or prod her. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so then I go in, and, and so this is, this is funny. It is predominantly in Caucasian heritage. Uh-huh. Sorry, crossing the street. Okay, right. and neither you nor your husband. So my husband is is Irish Italian. Oh. Um, and it is predominantly in the Irish. Okay, so line. we're in ocean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the final stretch. 
here we go. <laughs> and uh, my family, we don't know a whole lot about it. Uh huh. So we we didn't know what we were gonna find when they did the genetic testing on me. Uh huh. It seems I have a whole lot of something that carries celiac. Okay. Because I am homozygous recessive mm -hmm. for the gene. The funny thing is. I can still have wheat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is where this is where I come in mm -hmm. with the Celiac Disease Foundation and the research they're trying to do. Right. So Scott, my husband, and then our oldest uh, son, Logan, mm -hmm. and then our youngest child, Avery, mm -hmm. they all have full-blown celiac. Uh -huh. But myself and our middle son, Elias, uh -huh. we have we have the genotype for it, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, we can still have wheat. We don't express it. Okay. So we want to know, is there some trigger mm -hmm. that turns on in the body right. that makes you have full-blown celiac? Uh -huh. You know, what is it? Right. And that's why I'm running, because I'm trying to raise awareness for it. Right, yeah, because, I mean, I myself was not fully aware of what exactly it is. It almost seems like it's kind of a new, almost, but it's not new. But it's really. not because people <laughs> just, new just didn't me. know. Right? Okay. Yeah. Got it. So it's been around. So does that have anything to do with the whole gluten? Yes. Okay. So we got lucky that we, the uh, family was diagnosed mm -hmm. with the whole gluten-free craze. Okay. Because now it's so much easier to right. find food yeah. that doesn't taste like cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> Because otherwise it really would. Uh-huh. Because wheat is a wonderful thing. <laughs> right. You know, wheat just it softens all the bread. It just uh man, it, it really makes a big difference uh, in food food products. Okay, yeah. so so you are trying to raise money for this foundation. How much are you trying to raise? Oh, I think our goal was Ten thousand? Uh huh. Yeah. Big goal. Yeah, it's a big goal. But <laughs> but I'm not doing ten thousand. Okay. <laughs> um, we have we have probably a good dozen or so runners mm -hmm. for this particular event. Okay. And um, each of us is just doing our small part. Okay. Um, so how much are you trying to raise? Me, I'm me, trying to raise. Whoops. Sorry. Step in a puddle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to raise six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. I mean, yeah, six fifty. Okay. Um, and I'm at. 500. Okay. All right. So we need 150, another 150 dollars for Eileen. Yeah. So we're gonna put your link out with this video. Oh, fantastic. To help you reach your goal. Great. So you, there's there's 11 other runners. What color are you guys' shirts? We're wearing blue shirts. Okay. That um, have white lettering on it that says, whoops, sorry, Team Gluten Free. Uh huh. And uh, and then on the back, I think it says. A CDF or okay. Celiac Disease Let's Foundation. See. Whoops. I know. Yeah, it was kind of, it uh, rained here, so it's kind of muddy. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of big puddles here. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're definitely going to be looking out for you. Right. So on. for for this race, you actually do not live in LA. I do not. So you came from far, <laughs> far away land. Far, far away. I, <laughs> I came from the, from Northern California. Right. Came from Morgan Hill, which is um, a small city about 20 miles south of San Jose. Uh -huh. um, All right, so she made she's making a big commitment to this. So we definitely want to be out there cheering for you. How are you training for this race? Oh, how am I training? So I am uh, not standard by any means. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am actually a hockey, ice hockey and skating coach. Okay. So. Um, I am on the ice, mm -hmm. probably a good six out of seven days a week, Okay. skating, uh -huh. teaching, and then once, sometimes twice a week, I still uh -huh. play hockey myself. Okay. So that's a lot of training right uh -huh. there. <laughs> um, and then I do run mm -hmm. on my own as part of my own dry land routine. Right. Um, and I don't know, maybe I run about three times a week. Uh-huh. Um, and then for this race, what I did was instead of my standard you know, just basic three or four mile runs here and there. Uh -huh. I actually started, whoa, I actually started upping the distance each week. Okay. So that I could get up to 12. Okay. Yeah. All right, so are you running by yourself? I am. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a So do you have any fears about this race that you've never run it before? No, I figured I'd just follow all the people in front of me. Okay, yeah, that's a good plan. <laughs> and um, listen 
Do you know where you're starting? So they say that I'm starting in Hollywood. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then. And Do you then know what actual the mile marker it is? Because I, oh, I hear it's not exactly. It's not. 13.1. It's, it's not. So I think I'm actually running 14 miles. Okay. Yes. Wow, so that's good to know, you guys. Like, for the charity. Right. Well, that you, don't. you might be running more than 13. It's not actually a half. Right. It's potentially shorter or longer. Right. So it sounds like you got half. the longer. I did. I got half. the longer, but I wanted the prettier finish. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a prettier finish. It's beautiful out today. Right. As you guys can see. I know. And it's supposed <laughs> to look like this on Sunday as well. Like no rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's actually going to be perfect, sounds like. The high of like 62. 62, right? So that would be great. Which is kind of what it is right now. Yeah, that's perfect. Really perfect running weather. Yeah. Uh, so you've run half marathons before though, right? I have. Okay. It's not, uh, have you run for celiac before? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that they had, you know, a, a team gluten free. Mm -hmm. So um, this was the first event that I had heard about that they were doing. I definitely uh -huh. plan to do more with them. Uh -huh. um, so tell us about like, What's something that's actually really good that's gluten free? Because <laughs> oh, anytime time I hear the word I know. free, I hear I hear taste free. Taste free. <laughs> taste free. So um, it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> well, like I said, wheat adds a lot of softness right. to um, to breads and pasta. Mm -hmm. So anything that is supposed to be crunchy, mm -hmm. maybe a biscotti okay. or a cracker. That's fantastic gluten free. Right. Because it's already supposed to be hard. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, well, tell us if something that actually tastes good that's gluten free. It's <laughs> good. Um, well, you know, here's the thing with all the different um, chefs and such mm -hmm. experimenting with gluten free recipes, mm -hmm. we've got some really good gluten free pizzas and pastas right. now. So you can actually find. Almost anything uh -huh. gluten free. Okay. Yeah. So you yourself have learned to cook gluten yes. free. So our house has to be completely gluten free. Oh, this this way. Way. Okay. Our house when we when we got the full diagnoses for uh -huh. for the family, we cleaned the house out of everything wheat, mm -hmm. especially flour. Right. Like the actual you know powdered flour. Uh -huh. Because something we learned was that whoops sorry which way about that is when you say you're baking mm -hmm. and you um, open up a bag of flour uh -huh. the flour particles stay in the air for three days wow yeah so if you have celiac disease you can't even walk wow. into a regular bakery wow and the only like visible symptoms is like the skin well and, and or so there are other symptoms yes total total variety uh -huh. And um, people, so it presents in so many different ways. Mm. Um, in my husband, uh, how do I say this? If he gets contaminated, you uh -huh. know, wheat contamination, uh -huh. he gets very loose bowels. We'll just put it oh, there. Oh, okay. Okay. And then if my son gets wheat, uh -huh. he doesn't have a bowel movement for a long time. Oh my goodness. So total opposite. Right. And then in my daughter, she gets a huge rash mm -hmm. all over her body. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, and, and they all get stomach aches. That's the stomach ache is kind of the common thing. Okay. But then the other ways it presents is totally different from person to person. Mm -hmm. Because again, it's autoimmune. Uh huh. So it's whatever your body decides it wants to attack. Okay, well, let's speed up. Let's go fast right fast. here. Okay, fast. Yeah, because so we're at the, the finish line. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yay! Woohoo! So let's run, 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 run. Okay. <laughs> we're finishing this. You're going to finish the race. Awesome, yes. <laughs> this is the finish All right. right here. Right on. Woo! So let's have this in the background. Oh, yeah, let's have that in the background. Yeah. yeah. So All we, right. So we did it. Woo! <laughs> The Marathon Recon of LA, LA Marathon of 2018, LA Marathon is complete. And I want to thank my guest, Eileen, for telling us all about celiac. I definitely was enlightened by a lot of it and definitely be more aware of those who have it. So please help support Eileen and this foundation to help find a cure, to help people not suffer from this awful disease, an inconvenient disease. So we're definitely going to put up a link, your link. And if anybody has any questions about
the final mile of the LA Marathon or any other aspect of the race, please go to GreenRunnerLA.com. And I just want to wish everybody good luck. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be wonderful weather. And just enjoy it. And run hard, run fast. And everybody just keep running. <laughs> and it, I already want to congratulate you because you're taking on a big, a big and awesome journey. And we'll see you at the finish line. Awesome. Bye. Awesome. Thank you.